Hello and uh, Happy New Year 2019 to you. We hope uh, the coming year is a very, very profitable and very satisfying one for you and uh, you scale uh, new heights in uh, trying to understand what makes the financial markets really work, what makes the market uh, wheels uh, uh, turn in their place and how one cog makes the other cogged wheel turn in time. The, the topic for understanding today I have chosen is does linear extrapolation work at all and uh, if it does why and if it doesn't why not. Linear extrapolation is a statistical concept wherein the trader assumes that if the nifty or any other security has moved 1% in either direction this week it must therefore move 5% in the 5 coming weeks or 10% in the 10 coming weeks. Now this is to assume that what's happened in the past will exactly mirror in the future at the same velocity at the same speed in the same direction which in my humble opinion is a fallacy. I will proceed to tell you why. Supposing you were to run from the ground floor of a very tall building, hypothetically speaking, say 15 floors high. Now if you were to run from the ground floor up to the 15th floor, you would need some wrecks, you would need a break. I would let you take a break on the 5th floor, on the 10th floor <clears throat> and then finally on to the 15th floor. Would it be right on my part to assume that because you took two minutes to reach from the ground floor to the fifth floor you would therefore take six minutes to reach the 15th floor because two minutes for five floors two more to the, to the tenth and then two finally more to the fifteenth you would say that's not possible because the higher you climb and the more you climb the more your body gets tired your lungs start gasping for oxygen your legs start to feel like noodles you perspire, you, you feel uh, gravity weighing you down. Now this concept, gravity weighing you down, also works in the asset class markets, whether it is equities, currencies, commodities, bonds, indices, name it what you will. Now markets to go up need to counter three forces, selling by the bears, or by delivery based investors, the limited resources of the bulls who are buying, thirdly gravity of the earth. Now to go up therefore the bulls must counter these three countervailing forces. On the other hand the more they climb higher the more they are tired just like you're tired when you're climbing up a very tall building. Which is why, in my humble opinion, linear ex the more you start thinking rationally, the more you will realize that the higher the market goes, the more it must labor to maintain the upward trajectory. And therefore, the momentum on the upside as it climbs might just wane, flag, sag, and even slow down. Which is why I say linear extrapolation is a myth it's something that you should not really blindly bet your money on. We will meet again in the future and take up some more simplistic but very very relevant subjects in the market in trying to understand how the mind of the market works so you are better off as better behavioral analysis traders. Thank you. Take very good care of yourself.